Okay, I just had a pretty freaking crazy race on Daytona. So I I was so impressed with how it went. So I'm recording this video right now. I saved the replay, so now I'm recording the video because I wasn't streaming or recording the race. So Daytona, this is just before before the start. As you can see, I'm in the back of the pack because this is the first race of the week. Like I haven't raced on Daytona in these cars before ever. So this is first race of the week. I'm like, I'm just going to keep it easy. I'm not going to qualify. This is how I normally do it for the first race. I just don't qualify and I just stay behind and see like how people drive. That sort of thing. Uh, actually, not qualifying in Daytona. That seemed like a pretty freaking stupid idea, but I decided to do it anyway. And turns out that half the field didn't qualify as well for whatever reason. I was really surprised with that. So I think I'm like in 16th place starting in 16th but there are still more cars behind me i don't think i see all the cars because of my replay settings but yeah there there were some cars behind me as well even though i didn't qualify so just the race starts race car is off and we go i don't think i fucked up the start too much but for some reason the outside line was pretty slow and uh, I don't know I should have gone to the inside at the very first opportunity but I kinda fucked it up and I lifted too much so as you can see I'm falling behind a little bit going too wide with number 8 And this, this is where I should have just gone to the inside immediately. But uh, I was just derping here, like, derp, how do I go left or something. And I just kind of fucked it up. And when I realized that I needed to go on the inside line, like, I saw the green car, like, number 12 approaching, and then I got scared. And I decided against doing it, because it would probably result in a crash or something. And so I dived to the inside line after 12. That was kind of a bit stupid of me to, you know, derp like that. But, oh well, such is life. Anyway, we're still driving. Something happens. Like, no, no big one, but here we go, here is number 8. And let's see what happened with him. They were sort of going three wide and eight kinda fucked up. Yeah, that's definitely his fault. Because he he should just keep close to the yellow line, but for some reason he just goes to the right and bumps into number one. And that's his own fault for whatever happened to him. But he just kinda flies to the side there regains control of his car and we can't see him anymore because of my replay settings but that was his own fault basically he has got no one to blame but himself so nothing really special happens so we're just driving Yeah, I don't think... Ah, yeah, here we go. Here's, here goes 21. 21. 21. We're going to feature a lot of 21 in this video. So he just goes by. And I look at him and I'm like, Hmm, it looks like the outside line is faster. So I go on the outside as well. Once again, I am like really stupid when it comes to making decisions fast. So I should have done that sooner, pretty much right after he, he went. But I I was just derping around for too much. But as you can see still, the inside line is slowing down. And I'm catching up with 21. And I'm just gaining positions for no reason whatsoever. Just the, the inside line is just slow. And so here, 
I actually go on the inside line properly and gain several positions just because I thought hey the, the outside looks faster let's see if we can do this and indeed we can do this but the inside line is slow because you can see there is that car like black and white car ahead just keeps fucking touching the apron for no reason I think he kept doing this for the entire race. I, I don't know why or how or, or what the fuck is wrong with him. And also the pe people are three widening up ahead, so that's probably slowing them down a little bit. And we're just driving like this until something happens. I don't remember how soon it happens. I, I think pretty soon. Let me fast forward a little bit. Yep. Shit happens. Shit happens. So let's see. We can we can actually watch what what caused it. Uh Yeah, there's number 3, number 4. Yes. So number 4 passes number 3 on the outside line. And he decides to move down, and he is like well within his rights to do so. But it is just just a bit too close, just a bit too close. Like I'm pretty sure he was clear, and the spotter told him it was clear. So he moves down fast, and three kind of doesn't slow down at all for this, and so he bumps number four just a little bit. But that's enough to move number four onto the apron. And then he bounces back, and then shit happens. So they collect a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people are collected in this crash. Just fucking look at this. Just fucking look at this massacre. Like, holy shit. A lot of people died in there. Fortunately, I saw it from far away, because I was behind. These, those were the leaders that crashed, but I was behind. And I could see that shit was going down. So I start slowing down, and I managed to avoid like pretty much everything. I still don't slow down just enough. I should have slowed down a little bit more. And I sort of bonk 21 on the ass. And 21 just goes into grass, but he manages to retake control of his car. And uh, I, I don't think he got any damage or anything. And so that's what happened. So let's see, I was in 14th position when that happened. And now let's see. How did we get four extra from that? Crossing the start-finish line, I'm in 4th. A lot of people died and from 14th I became 4th. And so the situation is the, follow the following. So we got Number one in third position, number four in second position, and number eleven in first position. And these cars, they pretty much didn't get co caught up in uh, in that crash, so they are kind of 
far away. Like this, this is my car, and that's where they are, like on the top of the screen. And I had to slow down quite a lot, so they they are just made a lot of distance. And so here we are, my car, car number seven, in fifth position, tries to pass me on the outside, but just it, it doesn't work this way when there is only one car. And there is 21, who is a little bit behind. But there's going to be more of 21. There's going to be more of 21. And so we're just driving like this. Number 7 keeps trying to pass me on the outside. I don't know why. Now here something stupid happens. Like that car just came out of the pit lane, right? It's a left car, yes. So he's coming out of the pit lane and he's kind of like in front of us, so we have to pass him three wide, sort of. And I'm kind of scared about that. And I don't know what he's doing. Like, like you can see he kind of moves to the side, trying to let us pass, but I didn't really know. Like, he didn't really make his intention very clear. Like, if he made it earlier, if he made that move earlier, then probably it would have been just fine. But he kind of waits a lot, so like, I don't know what the fuck he's thinking at this point. So I turn to the right, just a little bit, just in case he, he he's not gonna fuck off. And I just touch number 7 a little bit. Like, really, I don't know why number 7 was this close to me. Like, I don't know what his game was. Like, maybe he wanted me to, like, slow down or go on the left so he would end up in front of me or something. I don't know what his game was, but he really should have been giving me more space here in this situation. And so I touch him lightly, and nothing really bad happens, but he does lose control of his car just for a little bit, and he has to slow down because of that. Like, I don't know. It was kind of my fault, I suppose, for just turning into him, but, well, he really should have given me more space. If he didn't want me to crash into him, he should have stayed the fuck away. And so, 7 slows down, and 21 uses this opportunity to get behind me. He's got more speed, he tries to pass me outside, but he's he just just one car, it doesn't work with just one car. We're just driving, 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 and we're gonna drive like that for, for a while, actually. Well, these are still, like, I'm in position 4, position 5, position 6. These are like the cars here that we have. Here's this left car. I think that's the dude that was coming out of the pits, probably. And there is no one really behind. These cars are way too far away. And so we just kind of stack here. Got this our little group of cars, and there isn't pretty really much we can do at this point. We just like, kind of try to keep driving, pretty much. I'm gonna fast forward a bit. There is another left car coming up. Just stays outside, no problem with him. This is number two. Uh, let's see, he's more than a lap down, actually, probably. And so we just stack, and we just keep driving and driving and driving and driving. Like, people try to pass on the outside. I don't know why people try to pass in this situation, because there's like literally nothing, nothing to be gained from passing at this point. Like, the best thing you can do is just stack in, into a train, 
and drive as fast as you possibly can to catch up the leaders, which is actually what we did, because as you can see, 21, he, he passes all those other dudes, and he gets right behind me, and you can see how close he is, and he just starts fucking pushing, like this was the best fucking drafting I ever had in iRacing. Apparently with these cars you don't bump draft, because apparently bump drafting is dangerous, but if we were in any other cars, he would probably just like literally push me in the ass at this point. But still, he still he stays very close, and I just try to drive as steady as I possibly can. And he's pushing me like really, really nice, really hard, he's like drafting really good, and we are actually catching up with the leaders, which is kind of strange, so we got like how many cars? We got five cars here, in our little train here, and the leaders also have five cars, but for some reason, like you, you see, they are not in, a, in, in one line, and they are like kind of fighting, you see, they're like trying to pass each other, so that's not very smart on their part, and so we are just coming up on them, because 21 is pushing me really hard. To say hi. So we're coming up, coming up, getting close. So like, let, let's check this pack of cars be before before I uh, you see what I did next, which is something I'm not proud of, but we'll see. So I'm still in fourth, twenty-one in fifth, seven in sixth, and this car is a lap down. This car is also lap down. So ahead of me, this car is a lap down. This car is a lap down. This car in position three. This car is lap down. This is position two car and position one car. So this number eleven, number one, and number four are the leaders. First, second, and third drivers on the track right now. And so we're coming up on them. And you can just see how much more speed we have. And so we're, I'm trying to pass these guys, and here I fuck up. I bonk number six. And that was entirely my fault. Like, I guess if he was closer to the wall, then it wouldn't have happened, but I really had a lot of space here on the left, and I just didn't turn left hard enough. So that, that's my fuck up, and I'm ashamed for that. I had to apologize to number six after the race, but he didn't seem to be very mad about it, so I guess shit happens. And so I bond him just, just a little bit, but that's enough to send him flying. And this is actually fucking amazing, because see what happens now. Nobody touches him! I don't know how the fuck did that happen, but somehow he doesn't touch any of the cars. He just flies right in between everyone, like whoosh. How the fuck did that happen? Just insane luck for everyone involved. But unfortunately for number six, he ends up in a wall. And I got four, four incidents for that, because the contact was zero. But then he flew into a wall, so this like four points he got from the wall contact, I, I got those four points for me as well, because uh, that was my fault. I, I initiated that shit. So that kind of sucked, but m my car is fine, and I just keep driving, and pretty much everyone, they, they just keep driving. And I keep trying to pass these dudes on the outside. 21 is coming up, and he, he's gonna help me pass all these people. Like, you can see he gets really close to me. And we're gaining speed. I got really close to the wall there for some reason. That, that was Monka S on the replay, but when I was driving, nothing special, it looked like nothing special. 
We're going, going three wide. I do it right this time, not killing every anyone. And so 21 just brings me into the front of the pack. We're crossing the finish line and I'm in first. 21 is in second. Number 11, who was first before, is in third. Number 1 is fourth. This is a left car. Left car. Number 4 is in fifth position. Left car, left car, left car. This guy is way behind. So we just have these five cars here, five leaders in this pack. And this is left 18 out of 20. So that's pretty much the end of the race. So this is where shit starts happening usually. So we're just driving like this, we stacked nicely. I'm on the inside line, I'm driving. Like number 11 tries something. This is lap 19. 19 out of 20. And as you can see 21 is trying to push him into first place and kind of succeeding. Not in this corner, but he will succeed in the next corner. Final lap. He's pushing, he's pushing, he's pushing. And number 11 just says, fuck you 21, I'm going on the inside line. So 21 basically just brought him in, in first, and he just says, fuck you, 21. <laughs> That's the thing that happens in the racing. This is last lap. At this point, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to try to fight for the first place. And I'm going on the outside line, and I'm hoping that 21 is going to help me. And he's trying to help me. But I made a tactical mistake here. I, I went on the outside line, but I left too much space. And number one goes into three wide. Twenty-one sees that number one is faster, and he just says, fuck you, Hippocat. And he goes behind number one, and he's pushing him. And I cannot really do shit at this point. And this is the finish. And that's how we finish. Number one in first, 21 in second, 11 in third, and I am in fourth place. And that's the end of the race. And it's just completely fucking bonkers, because this is just like the first race of the week. I didn't expect anything. I'm like, I'm just gonna fucking chill, and I'm gonna observe, I'm gonna see how people drive, and then this fucking shit happens. Holy cow. And that's why everyone likes Daytona, because like crazy shit like this can only happen on Daytona. It's fucking insane. Fucking insane. Anyway, thanks for watching.